This little camera transmits images to the data recorder so we can see if you've got any vascular malformations in your GI tract. Your records show you've lost some weight over the past year. Was that intentional? Not really. Well, he's been eating less since he quit the swim team. You have to get up early for swim. It wasn't fun anymore. I need to talk to your son about sexual activity. Generally, it's less embarrassing for everyone. We're leaving. Actually, I've only ever... How long have you been cutting yourself? Those are from a layback grind that went wrong. Came off my skateboard straight into a fence. So, no to cutting, but yes to appetite and sleep changes, and you quit something you used to enjoy. How long have you been depressed? Imaging showed no sign of upper GI issues, but the kid did admit to being depressed and a smoking pot to take the edge off. You are very pleased with yourself, aren't you? His marijuana could be laced with formaldehyde or lead, which could cause a pulmonary hemorrhage, which could make him spit up blood. Yes, yes I am, it was a good catch. Run a lead level, push five liters IV fluid. Feel free to tip your other server. My dad's head's still in one piece, so I'm guessing you didn't mention the pot. What'd you tell him? The truth. You had a minor chemical exposure, and we can't be 100% sure how it happened. Thanks for covering. I know what it's like to be 16. You also know what it's like to be depressed. Well, you figured out my deal after only a few minutes. I've been fooling my friends and parents for months. It's my job to notice things. Maybe talking to your parents would make things better. I've tried. They take it personally that I'm not happy, and then I end up having to make them feel better. They don't get me. No one does. In med school, it seemed like everybody else could handle the pressure. I couldn't. I ended up hurting myself. Stupidest thing I've ever done. You've got red spots in your eyes. They weren't there before. We still don't know why Ryan coughed blood, and now he's got small hemorrhages in his eyes. Sounds like an acquired coagulopathy, which gives us a pretty wide differential. Gets a lot narrower if we factor in his depression. Oh, don't do that. Mood swings can be a symptom of physiological illness. I'm talking to you. Mood swings are also a symptom of adolescence, along with emo music and masturbation. More importantly, his weight loss and sleeping issue started a year ago. Infection makes the most sense. He shoots sleeps at school, showers in the locker room. I'm thinking staff. Damn. You don't think... Not talking to you. I want my stuff, asshat. I told you, man, I don't have it here. Hey, guys. Uh, everything okay? On my way out. Oh, I'll see you later. You wanna tell me what's going on? My friend gave me some leftover clonopin he had when he switched to seizure meds. I sold him to Road Rage for 80 bucks, but I landed in here before I could deliver, and now he's gonna rip my arms off. How often do you sell drugs? It was a one-time thing. I needed the cash, I had the pills, so I thought, why not? That was a bad idea. The pills are at my house. I gotta have a friend go get them. Give the thug his money back. One time only. I mean, no. Good for you. You could have just assumed he was a drug dealer, but instead you took his word for it. It's nice to finally see someone have a little faith in humanity around here. Why would you do that? Ryan, you okay in there? I'm not sure. I think I just peed blood. Patient admitted to using pot 
Who knows what else he's doing? This could be heroin-induced nephropathy. I thought you trusted this kid. And then you pointed out how sweet that was. If it were heroin, he'd be going through withdrawal. Antiphospholipid syndrome's a better fit. Start the patient on plasmapheresis. While he's doing that, can I at least search his house for drugs? I ever said no to that question. What's up, losers? I hope you're enjoying being alive. Today's lesson, natural selection. Excellent system made us who we are today, but then we invented seatbelts and grocery stores. Things that keep idiots and weaklings alive. And let's be honest, most of you don't really deserve it. Here's to the natural order. Yes! Copied from his flash drive. Do I go to the cops? Yes. Officer, I'd like to report an assault. The victim was a pile of leaves. It goes on. He talks about bombing his school. Which you know because you stole his flash drive and broke into his house. How's that gonna play? Ryan's not responding to streptokinase. We don't know very long before the damage becomes irreversible. So we either up his dosage or go into his head and get the clot out. Where's house? Hopefully with Cuddy. She did just get some pretty awful news. I called her. She doesn't know where he is either. Take him off the meds. He's got a staph infection. You treated him for staph three days ago. It didn't work. Bacteria already in his system responded. But once the door's been busted open, more just keep coming. Oh, he's talking about an abscess. I got that. For the cheap seats, an abscess is a gooey little cream puff of infection. Probably burst when your little pride and homicidal joy took a hard foul. It's good news. If we can find the door. I think I know where it is. What if these aren't from skateboarding? The kid has been blowing up PVC pipe bombs. If he got hit by shrapnel, the body walls off the foreign object, which, because it's plastic, doesn't show up on imaging and provides a perfect home for bacteria. Antibiotics attack the infection, causing pieces to break off. Some hit the liver, one lodged in his brain and dissolved when Foreman touched it. Once we drain the abscess and remove the shrapnel, the antibiotics can do their job. He'll be fine. 